In the late 1950s, the American Western television series, Buckskin took viewers on a journey back to the Old West, following the adventures of Marshal Chet Hollister and his companions in the town of Wileyville, Kansas. In this, then and now, retrospective, we'll take a look at the actors who graced the screens of the 1950s and compare their roles on Buckskin with their lives and careers today. Join us as we revisit the past and discover how time has shaped the lives and careers of these talented actors. From the dusty streets of Wileyville to the present day, let's uncover the fascinating, then and now, stories of the Buckskin cast. Stay tuned. 1. Tom Nolan as Marshal Chet Hollister. Tom Nolan was born on January 15, 1930, and would have been 93 years old today. He's best remembered for his portrayal of Marshal Chet Hollister in the American Western series, Buckskin. Though, Buckskin, only ran for one season from 1958 to 1959, Tom Nolan's charismatic performance as the tough but fair lawman left a lasting impression on fans of the genre. After, Buckskin, Nolan continued to work in television and film, with appearances in various shows and movies. While he didn't achieve the same level of fame as some of his contemporaries, he remained a recognizable face in the industry. Unfortunately, there is limited information available about Tom Nolan's life and career beyond his work on Buckskin. It's essential to remember and celebrate actors like him, who contributed to the golden age of television. As of my last knowledge update in 2023, there is no information available regarding Tom Nolan's date of death. 2. Sally Brophy as Margaret Devlin. Sally Brophy, born on December 14, 1928, was a versatile actress who had a career spanning several decades. She was best known for her role as Margaret Devlin in Buckskin. Her portrayal of the spirited and resourceful character added depth to the show's ensemble cast. Sally Brophy's career extended beyond her work in Buckskin. She appeared in numerous television shows and films during the 1950s and 1960s. While she didn't reach the pinnacle of Hollywood stardom, her talent and dedication to her craft earned her respect within the industry. Sally Brophy passed away on September 18, 2007, at the age of 78. She left behind a legacy of memorable performances, and her contributions to the world of entertainment continue to be appreciated by fans of classic television. 3. Mike Rode as Jed. Mike Rode, born on March 18, 1918 had a diverse career in the entertainment industry. He played the character Jed in, Buckskin, contributing his talent to the show's success. In addition to his role in, Buckskin, Mike Rode had a prolific voice acting career. He lent his voice to various animated series, including the iconic, Johnny Quest, where he voiced the character Race Bannon. His work in animation earned him recognition and a dedicated fanbase. Mike Rode passed away on April 14, 2013, at the age of 95. He is remembered not only for his on-screen and voice acting work but also for his contributions to the world of animation. 4. Paul Carr as Tim Potter. Paul Carr was born on February 1, 1934. He would have been 89 years old if he were with us today. While Paul Carr's career in Hollywood spanned several decades, one of his most notable roles was as Tim Potter in the Western series, Buckskin. His portrayal of the lovable and comedic character endeared him to audiences during the show's single-season run in 1958-1959. Beyond, Buckskin, Paul Carr made numerous appearances in popular TV series and films of the time. He was known for his versatility and ability to bring depth to various roles. His dedication to his craft and undeniable talent made him a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Tragically, Paul Carr passed away on February 17, 2006, at the age of 72. His contributions to television and film continue to be celebrated by fans of classic Hollywood. 5. Carl Harbaugh as Del Charbut. Carl Harbaugh, born on December 10, 1911, had a long and varied career in the entertainment world. He is perhaps best remembered for his role as Del Charbut in Buckskin. His character brought humor and wit to the show providing comic relief amidst the challenges faced by the residents of Wileyville, Kansas. Carl Harbaugh's career extended beyond his work on Buckskin. He appeared in various films and television series, showcasing his talent as a character actor. While he may not have achieved the same level of fame as leading Hollywood stars, his contributions to the industry were valued. Regrettably, Carl Harbaugh's journey came to an end on June 12, 1978, when he passed away at the age of 66. 
His legacy lives on through his work in film and television, particularly in the hearts of those who remember his humorous performances. 6. Frank Ferguson as Mayor Bill Thompson. Frank Ferguson, born on December 25, 1899, had a career that spanned the early days of cinema to the golden age of television. He played Mayor Bill Thompson in Buckskin, a role that showcased his versatility as an actor. His portrayal of the town's mayor added depth and authenticity to the show's portrayal of life in the Old West. Frank Ferguson's career was marked by his appearances in numerous films and television series. He had a recognizable face and a strong presence on screen, making him a sought-after character actor in Hollywood. Tragically, Frank Ferguson passed away on September 12, 1978, at the age of 78. His contributions to the entertainment industry, which included over 300 film and television credits, left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. He is fondly remembered for his memorable roles and his significant impact on the golden era of television. 7. Myron Healy as Wade Birch. Myron Healy was born on June 8, 1923. If he were still with us today, he would be 100 years old. He is best remembered for his role as Wade Birch in the Western series, Buckskin. His portrayal of the enigmatic and sometimes morally ambiguous character added intrigue and depth to the show. Myron Healy's career extended beyond, Buckskin. He appeared in numerous Western films and television series throughout the 1950s and 1960s. He was often cast in roles that showcased his rugged charm and versatility as an actor. Tragically, Myron Healy passed away on December 21, 2005, at the age of 82. He left behind a legacy of memorable performances in the Western genre, and his contributions to the world of entertainment are celebrated by fans of classic television and film. And there you have it, the captivating, then and now, journey of the, buckskin actors. Their stories are a testament to the enduring power of the Old West and the talent that brought it to life. We hope you've enjoyed this trip down memory lane. If you found this video fascinating, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all our, then and now, explorations of your favorite stars and shows from the past. But the journey doesn't end here. We want to hear from you. Share your thoughts and memories of, Buckskin or any other classic TV shows in the comments below. Did you have a favorite character or episode? Let us know. Your feedback fuels our passion for exploring the past, and your comments make this community thrive. So, keep those discussions alive and share your love for classic television with fellow fans.